Hello everyone, this is Jyotir Mainanda and welcome back to my channel Botany Now. In the previous lecture, we had talked about the cell membrane, cell wall and outer to cell wall, there is the presence of glycocalyx. Okay, and inside the cell, there is the presence of jelly-like substance known as cytoplasm. And in the cytoplasm, there is the presence of the genetic material which is naked, double-stranded and it is without histone protein. Okay, and the place where the genetic material is placed known as the nucleoid or it is called the genophore. Okay, and from the genetic material that is DNA, the RNA is formed by which process? By the process of transcription okay and for protein synthesis translation takes place okay and for protein synthesis also there is the requirement of another cell organelle known as the ribosome which are scattered freely in the cytoplasm okay the ribosome is 70s type in case of bacterial cell or the prokaryotic cell Okay, and the 70s ribosome has two subunit that is a larger subunit and a smaller subunit. Okay, the larger subunit is the 50s and the smaller subunit is the 30s. Okay, so see here out of the chromosome or out of the genetic material there is also the presence of another rounded or the spherical structure is present like this. It is rounded or the spherical and also like the genetic material it is double stranded. Okay, like this. And this double stranded structure or the double stranded circular structure is known as the plasmid. What is it? The plasmid. Okay. So, in this video, we will discuss about the plasmid, its type and its function. Okay. So, what is a plasmid? The plasmid is the extra chromosomal part of the DNA. Okay, so it is the extra chromosomal part of DNA. Okay, extra chromosomal means what? Extra means out of. Okay, so out of chromosomal DNA or out of the original genomic DNA, the extra DNA which is present in the prokaryotic cell is known as the plasmid. Okay, see, this is the genomic DNA or the original DNA of the prokaryotic cell. Okay, and out of this original DNA, this rounded structure are the extra part or extra chromosomal part of the DNA and it is known as the plasmid. Okay, so it is the extra part of the original DNA. It is non-essential for the cell survival. Okay, so it is also non-essential for cells survival okay so when you remove the extra part of the dna from the bacterial cell or the prokaryotic cell then the bacteria will also survive that's why it is known as the non essential part of the cell okay so come to the different types of the plasmid okay so basically there are four types of plasmid Okay, so along with the extra chromosomal part of the DNA, the plasmid is also called the self-replicating structure. Okay, 
so it replicates by itself okay so now come to the types of plasmid so the first type is known as the af plasmid what is it the af plasmid okay so the af plasmid is known as the fertility plasmid or it is also called the fertility factor okay so it is called fertility plasmid or fertility factor okay so what do you mean by fertile fertile means the part which takes place the sexual reproduction process is known as the fertile okay or the fertile structure okay so here the plasmid the ap plasmid helps in the conjugation process okay or you know in case of the prokaryotic cell there is no sexual reproduction okay that's why the genetic material which is present in the prokaryotic cell it transport to another bacteria by forming a conjugation tube or by the process of conjugation okay so the a plasmid helps in the conjugation process okay suppose this is a bacterial cell and this is another bacterial cell it has its plasmid okay and the genetic material and this bacteria also has its genetic material okay so here the bacteria or the plasmid which is present in the bacteria it forms the conjugation tube like this okay and the conjugation tube grows like this like this like this and it joins in the bacteria another bacteria okay now by this conjugation tube this is called the conjugation tube okay so by this conjugation tube the genetic material is transferred okay got clear or not and by this process conjugation takes place okay so the conjugation tube or the formation of conjugation tube or the process of conjugation takes place by the af plasmid okay so there are two types of af plasmid what are they one is the bacteria having af plasmid okay so many bacteria also do not contain any af plasmid so the bacteria which contain af plasmid they call the af plus or they known as the male or they also known as the donor or called exogenot okay so ap plus means what it has the plasmid it has the fertility plasmid okay the donor means what it donates the genetic material it donates the plasmid to another bacteria okay then the exogenot means which transport the genetic material is known as the exogenot okay so another one is the bacteria without having ap plasmid okay so they are known as the ap minus or they are called the female or they are called the recipient or they are called the endogenot okay a minus means what the donor have the a plasmid recipient means it receives the genetic material it receives the a plasmid or the fertility plasmid and endogenot means what the genetic material is transferred to that bacteria okay and <clears throat> within it it is stored that's why it is known as the endogenot okay so please take a screenshot of this slide then come to the second type of plasmid that is 
call plasmid okay so the call plasmid secrete a chemical known as colicin which is bacteriostatic in nature okay bacteriostatic in nature means what when the bacteria is attacked by a harmful bacteria then this call plasmid secrete the chemical that is colicin okay so that it inhibits the growth of the harmful bacteria the third one is r plasmid okay so what do you mean by r plasmid here r plasmid refers to the resistance plasmid okay then what is the function of the resistance plasmid it makes the bacteria antibiotic resistance okay so when the bacteria is treated with an antibiotics it it is difficult to kill that bacteria because it has the capacity to resistance in antibiotic environment okay so it is also known as rtf means resistance transfer factor okay so the r plasmid makes the bacteria antibiotic resistance okay so please take a screenshot of this slide then come to the fourth type of plasmid known as degradative plasmid okay so the name itself indicates for the degradation okay so here the plasmid degrades the hydrocarbon in petroleum or oil spills okay so when oil extraction takes place from the ocean some of the oil mixed with water of the ocean okay so it is very harmful for the aquatic species or the aquatic organism okay so the bacteria having this degradative plasmid it will degrades the oil okay so the example of such type of bacteria is pseudomonas putida which is known as the superbug okay so this is about the four types of plasmid now come to the function of the plasmid the functions are the plasmid confers certain unique phenotypic characters to the bacteria okay so it confers certain unique phenotypic characters to the bacteria okay means it gives a unique feature a unique character to the bacteria okay the example is it makes the bacteria antibiotic resistance okay then the next function is it is used to monitor the bacterial transformation by using foreign dna okay it is used to monitor the bacterial transformation by using the foreign dna means the foreign dna is integrated 
in the bacteria so that the bacteria possesses a new character or the phenotypic character of the bacteria is changed okay so here the plasmid act as a vector or carrier okay so it carries the foreign dna with it and transfer to another bacteria so the character of the bacteria is changed okay so these are all about the types and the functions of the plasmid okay so please take a screenshot of this slide so if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you